Mike Hamilton here, Alithia Toyota. Behind me, I have the best minivan right now on the market, bar none. This is a 2022 Toyota Sienna XLE all-wheel drive hybrid. I'll be right back. TNGA platform that Toyota New Global Architecture Toyota tried to make this le look less minivan than any minivan before it and also uh, come out with the best fuel economy that's out there period and this happens to be the only minivan that's on the market that's both a hybrid and an all-wheel drive as an option. So let's take a look at this. So this has the uh, full Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. So it has pre-collision systems, pedestrian detection, cyclist detection, picks up large animals, uh, lane departure, lane trace and centering assistance, both the uh, radar systems and the camera systems. It comes with a standard sunroof. There is no roof rack crossbars, but those can be added. Also has really nice LED lights on it, LED fog lights and headlights as I showed you in the uh, silent walk around in the beginning of the video. Um, then they come with a very nice and attractive rim on here with these Faulkner uh, tires on here. Um, really nice looking uh, mirror caps or painted matching. We do have, of course, being this is a uh, hybrid, which most hybrids Toyota builds except for the Corolla, come out with a smart key. This has uh, power doors for the lift gates and the two side doors um, and then you can lock it from the uh, from this notch here with your finger and then unlock as easy as putting a hand on it if it resets we have Toyota Softex synthetic leather materials we have a lighter gray and then we have some darker uh, accents in here three bottle holders uh, we have power uh, passenger seat these are heated but not ventilate the higher levels get ventilated heated seats along with that too um, dashboard is uh, plastic but has a real natural leather pattern that they took infotainment on here is the eight inch and then this is known as a floating center console gives you a lot of storage so the uh, ladies can put their purse down there diaper bags other things like that um, and then we'll have, I'll go over some of these features and we'll talk about at the end, we'll talk about pricing and everything else it has with it. Open this door, I could do it from the fob or I could pull on that handle. Um, it also has the kick thing, so let's try the kicker thing on here. Let's put my foot under there and that opens it up and you could do that all three doors, the side doors. And then these seats are way back, so that's on purpose, so you have some of the longest uh, track here like almost four feet you can put these seats back so there's no one in the back row uh, given the uh, center row master room they cannot come out because there is a airbag that stays in the side seat for side impacts there um, and also some of the higher levels will come with a uh, recliner option to them also entertainment packages will come with these two with the you have that so we have also ooh, we got some cup holders down here USB A USB C are all part of this and again just a lot of room i mean that's not even all the way back for me but i that's plenty of room for me but seat pockets in both we have the baby shades that are on here so you can put these up for the babies uh, real nice thing in here fill door is on the uh, driver's side you do have parking sonar front and rear this only has a single camera I do like some of the chrome accents that they're doing on here. It makes it look a little more classy. And, and also, I'm not going to be able to take this for a test drive today, but man, this thing rides 
beautifully. It's like probably one of the most nicest riding vehicles I put it in probably the top one or two i'm be honest with you as far as how good it floats over over everything how quiet it is how much uh, responsive with the power with the hybrid systems and the gas engine let's go ahead and take a look on the inside go ahead and show you our startup sequence on here so all you gotta do is push the start button and then we'll get our startup sequence now the premium levels will get a larger seven inch uh, driver's information center giving you all the features there so let me kind of scrolling that a little bit but this is uh, the higher level of the Toyota Safety Sense until the newest vehicles come out like the uh, BZ4X and the Corolla uh, hatch uh, that's that 300 horsepower um, then it's gonna have a, those are gonna have a new higher edition the new brand new version of that our steering wheel here we got all that stuff at a fingertips touch all that driver's information center basically 600 miles empty with no miles on it so this will go way over 600 miles when it has a fuel economy on it matter of fact this vehicle is more fuel efficient than the uh, uh regular corolla gas is both the uh the le has a different engine 1.8 only a 38 then you get 40 miles the 2.0 liter which is on the other trims and stuff but uh, overall with the this is combined at 35 miles a gallon uh, both city and highway and one more, more one mile better on the front wheel drive version um, nice infotainment on here uh, shifter is uh, sequ sequential for it which it, uh, it has a CVT transmission but mimics having six speeds we do have electronic e-brake brake hold and electric vehicle mode and drive uh, different things so we could put it into a power mode we could put it into an eco mode or we could just put it in normal um, some of the features let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Monroney or window sticker so again we have I'm sorry the fans blowing that we have a CNX LE all-wheel drive five-star crash safety overall 2.5 liter but with electric motors it's combined 245 horsepower um, and then again well it actually 35 and 36 so 36 highway 35 city on this so a combined 35 miles per gallon um, pretty much the most fuel efficient minivan on the market not much in the extras department on this it has a base of 42,000 um, all it has is uh, all weather floor liners and mud guards uh, and then we have our destination uh, from Toyota so total price uh, before tax license and uh, dock fees will be 43,584 that's also going to be dependent on your state uh, let's move up higher so we have this could be a digital rearview mirror now they took it away out of some of the lower trims like we used to have have this i think as an option in xle but no longer as they're having a hard time getting those tv screens but we do have our our garage door memory sets on here these are the other ways you could open up those three doors uh, we have uh, reading lights on here then sos is basically on star for toyota emergency services stolen vehicle locator and roadside assistance are all part of that and then we have our uh vanity mirrors on here again mike hamilton alithia toyota what a great van best i believe period until someone else comes out with better fuel economy and you can't beat the legendary reliability of a toyota getting 35 miles a gallon having all-wheel drive options you this is just the greatest pick out there right now period it drives like a, incredibly nice i've been in a couple test drives on uh, long ones on myself so thank you for watching we'll see you next time